Well hello again everybody, welcome back and today we have this 55mm sterling Euro cylinder padlock uh, it's got an ERA cylinder in it but I'll go over that in a second but I've managed to get a batch of these, body only uh, quite a nice solid heavy padlock chrome plated solid brass body Interchangeable cylinders, double ball bearings, and it is key retaining. So, I've actually made this one for Lock Noob because I owe him a couple of padlocks. As you can see, it is retaining, and a couple of favours. Some of you might have noticed my new logo, and most of that is down to Lock Noob, so a big thanks for that. But what I managed to do was squeeze a 6 pin core in here, I think they're actually designed for a 5 pin. And I've actually repinned it as well. So it should be a bit of fun, here's the key bitting. So I managed to find something with a bit of up and down on it. But let's see if we can get into this before I send it off to him. So originally it did have security pins but just plain spools and it wasn't a particularly difficult pick. In fact you could actually rake it even, even with the spools but hopefully it'll be a bit different now. So make sure it's all locked up. There we go. And get the tension wrench in the right place. And one is binding. Right, we've got a tiny little click out of one. And a second one, very, very slight movement on the core. So nothing on two, three. Right, there's a click on four. Nothing on five, and we've got a click on six, so one, nothing, two, we've got a little click, th and another one, this accounts a rotation, a third click, that feels like it. Three. Doesn't really want to do anything. Four, five. Six. As you get a little bit of counter rotation on six. There we go. Hopefully that'll be six set. And one. And we're open. Like I say, definitely a bit more tricky than it was the first time round. So let's get that out. Grab pinning tray in. And the pins I've actually got on this pinning tray uh, what was in it originally. As you can see just standard spools, four of them and that was it. But let's get into this. We have a screw There's the screw, and there's the core. And clip. I think I'm going to have to lock this. 
this up. And there we go. One clip. One key. We'll stick a shim in. And a follower. And there we go. So we have all six pins. Everything needs picking. So these are all new key pins because I've rekeyed it. Because it came without one. And the bitting did look a bit flat once I got it open. So, tweezers, just arrange those. Well, so if you compare these with those, one was a little bit long, but the rest of them were all nothing special. So get the shim out, and in one we have a Christmas tree pin, two serrated, three is a T pin, just dump those springs. There's those. Get the others from the back. Then we have a spool in four, a spool in five, that's the wrong way round, sorry, six, five. Serrated in four. We should have three more springs. There we go. And that is it. So there's nothing modified anywhere else, but we're close up on those, if we'll focus, come on, there we go, so like I say, a bit more interesting to pick than original, so I shall get this put back together and that will go out in my next parcel to Loch Noob, so I hope you enjoy it, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.